This was Haiti right after the downfall of Duvalier, the people protesting the appointment of a provisional government considered an arm of the old regime. This is Haiti today, the violence growing, the people still demanding the ouster of the ruling junta. The dissatisfaction with Haiti's government extends to the streets of Miami, Haitian exiles asking the U.S. to stop supporting the council, headed by General Henri Nomphy. This is a military government in power, and not only a military government, a Duvalier's military government in power. But the Americans are protecting more than $100 million in U.S. investments, and they're offering protection and dollars to Nam Phi. Nam Phi is glad to take it and knows he'll need it with the growing opposition in his country. But coming here to get the money, if the people is not in peace, that's not going to solve the problem. Exiles also fear Nam Phi is paving the way for old Duvalier loyalists to reestablish their strong-fisted control of Haiti. The people in Haiti, if there is no reaction at all, would have to face another 29 years, to live another 29 years of the Duvalier. If Nampi does come to Miami, he will undoubtedly run into some strong opposition from Haitian exiles. There are more protests planned between now and then to tell Haitian government leaders they're not wanted here. Ileana Bravo, News 4.